In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing this self mill J stack. So, um, I find it's an even better win con than the School of the Wizard because you can just purely protect yourself and then win by uh, decking out. So, this is the new win con 5 drop 3 3 Laboratory Maniac. If your deck is empty, you win the game. Miracle, mill yourself for one. So, he also helps you get there. Um, so I'm running the new rooftop laboratory starting turn six. You have a chance to draw two cards instead of getting an empty mana gem. Put two random cards from your hand into your deck at the end of your turn. So um, just drawing the two cards starting turn six will um, tick down Jace's uh, 20 mana starting ability. And then also has the potential to put back laboratory maniacs that you're then going to draw again later and then they mill more. But it's really just important for lowering Jace's ability. Um, so to survive against aggro, we have the Crab, the uh, Leonin Healer, um, debut Heal Yourself 3 or Heal Anything 3. I'm t it's running the new Desperate Prayer, draw a card, Heal Yourself equal to its cost. And then we're running the Anticipate so we can hunt for our pieces, hunt for the things that are going to help us live, and we draw. Have the Negates because they're just very useful like pretty much in every matchup. Snapshot Turtle because we run Negates and Remands and it's just a healthy blocker early on. Same thing here, also if we have the complete command of the game, um, we can just not just use this as a blocker, but we can poke and get closer to our win con. The remand, of course, if they play something that costs three or more, you counter it, return it to hand, draw a card, it's exactly what we want. Divination, of course. Uh, repulse, return an enemy creature to hand, draw a card, so now it's even more about tempo. Um, because we're not just trying to kill them with sneak stuff and uh, second sons, we're just trying to get to the point where a deck has no cards, so this answers a threat and gets us closer. Jace's Apprentice is probably the best blocker in the game. War debut gets plus zero, plus one for each other card. So just a little wall here to uh, get us where we want to go. Major Insight, uh, four drop, three, four. Debut draws a card, exactly what we want. Little roadblock, uh, get through our deck. Um, still running the shell game, transfer an enemy creature into a stone turtle. We still want some spot removal for problematic things. And then we're running the hatchet plan. Four drop, draw two cards. The next trap you arm, this turn costs zero. Doesn't seem like it'd be that good outside of Teferi, but actually arming a negate or a remand um, when you're trying to get through your deck is really strong. And then we went over the Maniac already, and then we have the Day of Judgment, destroy all creatures just to mop up the board and make sure we get to our win con. I hope you guys enjoy the video today, and let's get into it. Do, 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 do. Okay, of course we first uh, Chandra right off the rip, so that's one of our worst matchups, so probably won't get it. It's very difficult to keep up with the uh, the aggression. Really need a low curve hand to even stand a chance. This is this is better. This is. A little better. A crab would really send it over the top for me, though. I am probably going to have to slam this. Alright, so they didn't have a turn one play, so I'm not going to slam it. I'm going to slam the uh, apprentice instead. Yeah, that's exactly why. Stuff like this. Okay, we got the Day of Judgment, which is good. They're running a basic mountain. That's fantastic for me. Makes me think that they're a little bit more late game focused. Which is actually kind of scary, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to block the 4-2. I mean, this can trade into the 4-2 as well, though. Yeah, I'm actually going to do it like this, so that way I have uh, multiple things I can trade into this. You know, this can beat the Minotaur. So if something happens to this, then, you know. Like, he could flame shot this, and I could still get this off, right? Drink deep from the well of life. Next turn, I'm going to Snapshot Turtle in a Desperate Prayer and hopefully get something large, right? Do, 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 do. Go right exactly. 
Go ahead and swing with this too. There's no reason not to. Yeah. That's exactly why we blocked how we blocked last turn. Ooh, very nice. Okay, am I a liar? Like, I kind of want to just slam both of those. I could also do this in Divination. Five. What do they have on five? Fire Spout Elemental? That would mess me up pretty good. Let's just go the super safe route. If they play the Elemental, I'm in trouble. I have to block it and... Um, uh, it's just not good. It'll it'll basically eat both of these things for free. Thank goodness. And I'm gonna start off the turn with the desperate prayer, so that way if I draw another creature, I could potentially um, play it right. Nah. All right. I'll gain four life. Do I play another body when I'm probably going to Day of Judgment in a couple turns? Like, I actually think I'd take the time to do this now, probably. Yeah, that card's way too slow. Repulse is actually really good for getting rid of that thing. 17 cards left in deck. Um, we're nowhere near out the woods. This is very scary. Um, I do have something for the elemental now, though. Okay, so they're Gruel. And next turn I'm gonna repulse and probably play, um, the Clever, because I have no idea how to say his name, or her name, or whatever. Um, yeah, so go away. Unfortunately, that gives him another card, but what can you do? Actually, am I just going to divination? Hmm. I don't think so. If it was a little bit later in the game, I might have thought about it. But me playing another creature, maybe will make him go wide. Okay, that's a shell game target. Oh, wow. Okay. It's unfortunate that I can't... Um, this does one damage? Okay. Yeah, let's get close to alting. I think that's the only way I can catch up. And we get rid of this thing. And I think I pass. And after he puts some more uh, stuff on the board, then I'm going to Day of Judgment. And then the next turn, I'll only have one tick left on this. Okay, so this is like Chandra Flyers. I really respect this, actually. You guys know I'm a big fan of Flyer strategies. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm just gonna chump that, right? I really wish I could Day of Judgment and play something. But, you know, can't have it all, I guess. Oh, no. It, oh, wait. I can. I gotta use this now before my Day of Judgment goes away. Next turn, I'm gonna um, Desperate Prayer first before I pop my ability so I can try and heal a little bit more, as odd as that seems. 11 cards left in my deck, and then I can play this and win the game. Yeah, I was wondering when he was gonna come back. 
and that's why their land is like this. They can play these like um, thicker flying threats, right? Okay, so they run constructs too. So this is um this is just um like a budget thing, right? That's perfect. I uh, really would have liked to have drawn that. Let's heal. Only heal two. Okay. So many possibilities. Yeah, I am gonna do this. Not bad at all. Six cards left. And that can... Basically they've got two turns. I have two Anticipates and a hatch -up plan, so... I can get to the end pretty quickly. Lava Wave is very interesting. They're just playing the best cards they have available to them. So, um, after we win this game, which we probably will, um, you know, people are going to have more full collections. This is just the first round of the event, so... Okay, and this is simply just the easiest thing to do. And if it's three cards left, I can... Let's see, how do I do this? Like this. I can't quite do it this turn, can I? Here's an idea. Nope. So it's next turn. I'm not sure they know what's happening because they're taunting. And then I'm just going to draw that and win. If they just pass, then they think that they're okay. We have fun, right? Maybe they do know. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're taunting me or they just don't know what's about to happen to them. So bad matchup, but a budget deck, thankfully. So that went all right. I'm like 90 points away from, or 89 points away from Mythic. I was like 950 something, and then I lost one game and lost like 46 points, and that I got super triggered. So don't know when I'm gonna hop back on the actual ladder. This new system drives me crazy. Yeah. Just gonna hop right back in. Okay, so now we're going up against Vraska. Um, generally Vraska's um, could be a little slow, and that gives us just enough time we need to draw our deck, but um, you know, if they're they're hyper aggressive, then it could be a problem. So I like this a lot. I like this very much. Uh, they're running Cradle, so um, if I can shut down the Cradle with the Day of Judgment, they're in big trouble. And hopefully they have no Grub and they just pass. LOL Cross six six six. Okay, so they are they are a hyper aggressive um, version. Cool. So now I can play this without using my uh, gem, which I'm going to try and preserve to drop Mage of Insight as soon as possible. My <laughs> yep. Drink deep from the well of life. So their board is completely shut down. I'll let this poke me till the end of time. Absolutely no rush here. That's fine. Yep, you can hit me for three. Um, the grudge match 
is completely fine. Um, that's um, not good tempo for them. Let's draw. Perfect. Just don't be like Day of Judgment. Cool. All right, 21 cards left in the deck. And they, like I said, they can hit me for three forever. They don't have a grotesque, they don't have anything. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna continue this train here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna chump, um, and then probably chump again with healer. And this is all just very slow. I could even just play Apprentice and not even have to give up something. I could use some fresh subjects. Okay, so that's probably just gonna get repulse now. Problem solving is my yeah, it costs three. They're not gonna be able to resist themselves by replaying it, so I'm just gonna remand. And then they're gonna replay it. <clears throat> Which means I draw again, yeah. Bad news, friend. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I still don't have to Day of Judgment anytime soon. Sure. When does this start, actually? Starting turn 7? So they might have one turn where they, they ramp a bunch. I'm just getting started. I've got a plan. Gonna take the Repulse again. Yep. And even if they ramp a bunch this turn, like, what are they gonna do? Give up their own board and then make it easier for me to board wipe? Like, they just have to... That'd be such a waste of resources. We have 14 cards left. Yeah, and they just want to replay their cards, which is fine. Allow me. Make them think they're like wearing me down some kind of way, and then after they play, you know, commit to the board some more, then I'm going to day a judgment next turn, as long as this thing doesn't go off, of course. I still, I just, I'm not really convinced this this is worth it. This just seems kind of cute. It's just something I've been testing. Yeah. So as long as my land doesn't go off, this is a big day of judgment turn for me. Um. Even if it does, um, this is still six damage. Pick your poison. Yeah, and they just don't care about Day of Judgment at all, which is kind of wild. I knew it was going to go off when I started talking about it. <laughs> um, I don't want to bounce anything because I don't want them to keep it for the Day of Judgment. So what I actually want to do is play this. Um, let's go ahead and heal a little bit. And I wouldn't mind just seeing if I draw the Day of Judgment. For one. Nope. Okay, and then we have 10 cards left. 12 cards now that two are shuffled back in. Luckily, Day of Judgment didn't shuffle back in. Um, yeah, and this is them thinking that they're doing something. Um, yeah, I'll do this now. And then here. Uh, here. Here. I'd actually love for this to uh, pop, so that way um, the Day of Judgment, you know, robs him of this resource. So now I don't have to worry about Day of Judgmenting and leaving two 1-drops behind. That was really dumb. No offense. Yeah, draw twice. That's cool. Oh god, yeah, they just think I have no removal, I guess. I 
I think I used the shell game already. Yeah, so we're just gonna attack. See if they just decide to take it or whatever. Okay. Ten cards left. I've got um, six, seven draws in my hand right here. And everything's super cheap now. Yeah, I was wondering if it was something like this. Why does it get ward again? I guess it's just a natural keyword on it. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I might feel to find the other day of judgment. Uh, four. Yeah. Cool. Go away. Six cards left. Yeah, I mean. Here we go. Yeah, um, a lot of really weird decisions by them. Um, it was exactly how I was, I was hoping, like, the tempo of the match is just, um, in our favor. So, let's see if it ends up being three in a row, I'm not sure. Alright, let's see what happens. This last game, okay, Johnny's really scary, so this could not be the last game. I could easily lose this game, and then, um, you know, have to see what happens the very last one, but, uh, Johnny's horrifying, especially with that new artifact. Johnny with the new artifact's really good. Very interesting land choice. Let's try and get some early drops with the Day of Judgment. That's earlier. Okay, so not the best hand. At least these two replace themselves, so Apprentice won't be so small when I play it. And I've got a couple of draws. Um, okay, I'm not playing anything. I would like to play this on turn two. Always a curve behind. You guys notice that? Happens all the time. I hate that when I'm playing uh, Spirits and Magic the Gathering and I draw my one drop on turn two. Yeah, so he's he's going way in already. This is this is very scary. I would really have liked to draw that. I think I go creature and then I go both of those um, the following turn. Yeah, because see, this in crab would have done really well. Can I get it on me? Thank you. I'm probably going to block here and then just take three. Ooh, I'm doing no such thing. It's quite scary. Maybe I can anticipate and find an, the other crab. Okay, so I found this. I guess I could try and find the other day of judgment as well. efficient. Healing this, it still dies to both the blocks, so I'm just gonna heal my face, right? 20 cards in deck. Mm. This could very well be the first loss of the video. Yeah, these, these things are just gonna get really out of control here. And I'm still um, three turns away from this. Yeah, I don't see me surviving this onslaught here. This is quite scary. Ah, oh, boy. Take this. We go. Hopefully, I don't regret that, and they have a removal spell. Okay, so five. Man, repulse is like almost what I want. 
And I'm still two turns away from Day of Judgment. Hmm. These are effectively the same. So this can be played with other things. I think it's actually this. I think it's actually that as weird as that is because this can trade into the 7-2 yeah he, nothing of his has died yet and now he can put one of those back and kind of start all this all over again but I mean it's already kind of at that point I just had to get the sevens off the board trade here um, next turn I can drop this and crab and hopefully that'll give me enough time to play the day of judgment but I think I need two J.I. Judgments to not die. Ajani is so scary. Oh, that's right. That's how everything got ridiculously huge. And now he's going to put one of the giant ones on top. Strength of the Pride. Really good when it's good, right? <laughs> and nothing of his has died yet still. So you know, if what he should do is just use this board to try and break me. Instead of Excellent. continuing to commit to it. Excellent. Very good. Um, so, chump. I might just take 10. Because if I day a judgment, he's just going to rebuild. I don't know. Maybe I just make him rebuild because and hope to get the second day of judgment. <laughs> Yeah, so he knows what he's doing. I can play this and uh, Divination and Reman next turn. Oh man, I didn't even think about that Najani being buffed and how it uh, like copies itself. That's real mean. That's nasty. Um... Here's an idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just have to not die. I've got a plan. Twelve cards left in deck. Oh, I see. It doesn't matter how big they are, the debut effects buff. Or copy. So that's actually quite incredible. It's a really good uh, land for a Johnny. I'm a big fan. Sick Making these two fight doesn't do anything. I still get the blocks. Oh, I thought it makes two of my... Choose another friendly creature and an enemy creature they fight. Oh, okay. So it does just do it like that. Um, I mean, I could just block here, take seven, and then... Um, See if I can play two things to just block, right? Now we'll see if he'll bank on the fact that I don't have the second. Yeah, he does. Alright, so now I can't possibly play enough creatures to substantiate like an actual defense. Okay, yeah, the laboratory is helping with this, which is good. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Please give me any creature. So many possibilities. Not quite. Eight cards, two are going to go back in the deck. I wish it, like, threw them up in the center so I could see better what it actually put back, you know? But, I mean, now I have Repulse, um, Shell Games, all kinds of stuff. I'm obviously going to use Repulse, because it costs more. Um, 
and keep the shell games for when he goes wide and I can't handle it anymore. So I'm gonna look out for. I was gonna say I'm gonna look out for um, the uh, mystic weapon. I know that's in there still. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go to ten. All right, so. No! I accidentally hit the space bar and it just passed my turn. I think I had this game. I don't I don't know why hitting space bar just passed my turn, but I accidentally hit it, so um I actually think I won this game. Wow, that's super annoying. I had a um just something on my keyboard right here and I, my hand accidentally knocked it and it hit the uh space bar. Wow. That's that's super annoying. I think I had that game. I had the repulse, I had the shell game, I didn't have many cards left in deck, I had lots of draw. That's um I really wish there was a way to turn that off. Like I only want my mouse to dictate what I'm doing. That's very upsetting. If I win this game it doesn't really matter, but um man, that's um super annoying. I'm never gonna have anything like near my keyboard in the future. Um and Nahiri's a really, really, really bad matchup, so... Even worse than a Johnny, probably. Alright guys, well it was supposed to be 3-0. It's not a bad start. Man, I'm really annoyed by that. see what you have in mind. Ready to get crushed? Hmm. I can't believe I hit the space bar and it passed my turn. Let's get on the board. I don't want to get greedy with the anticipate. They have haste creatures. Now the signature haste creature he can buff it and then I can't block. But you know. Okay, I was thinking that's what it was. Okay, so it was the entire deck nothing but this to ensure that that's what they draft. That's what I think is happening. If that's the case, then I need to draw. I can't believe it hit the space bar, man. Oh, I see. So you buff them with um, Nahiri's ability, making it to where you can't really ignore them. That's actually really clever. Mm -hmm. That's why he didn't do it that turn. He wants to do it in the future. I have to do this. I'm just starting. Yeah, and this and then this game we can't win. And we should, we had that a Johnny man. God. That's a shame. I'll never make that mistake again. Well. I want to turn one of those into a turtle with shell game. That's why I chose it. Maybe slow down the snowball -y effect. Oh, I see when a creature dies, they get another copy. This deck's very well thought out. It's very well thought out. Drink deep from the well of life. I'm hoping they play some kind of spell. Um, maybe the one that like when I attack they get two of the dudes and my negate counters it. I might just not attack, because I mean, I'm not going to win this by damage anyway. Desperate prayer to draw the guys while they're trying to do the shenanigans. Makes a lot of sense. That's totally what that is right there. Not falling for that. I've got a plan. 
I unfortunately don't have stuff to go through my deck, which is kind of sad. I might end up popping this ability very early. Yeah, now I can now I have repulse targets. Fine with me. I'm gonna repulse. Problem solving is my special. Gonna divination. Divination. Okay. Things aren't looking impossible. Not care less. I just want to get these things off the board. Here's an idea. Okay. Now I'm getting to the point where I might start overdrawing. Now they're gonna get their guys. If he plays two of them, I might just double shell game. I'm just gonna shell game that one. Yeah, mill me, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will put me to nine. If I win this game, I'll be a lot less annoyed with the space bar mis mis mishap. Six cards left. I've got one draw. Why is all their stuff costing one? What made them cost one? Yeah, get out of here. Bad news, friend. Five cards left. And I can still draw Old Boy and mill one more. If my land goes off. Um, I just win. Too many cards. Oops, too many cards. Yeah. Alright, so I only have one left. Oops, too many cards. And it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna play this and win. Alright, so I'm a lot less annoyed now. Um many cards! Oof. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm way less annoyed now. And you guys got an extra game, and uh, I think it was pretty evident I was going to win game three. Whew. Let's get another free land. <laughs> but uh, actually, uh, farming for the... It'll give you 600... Um, multicolored material so could be worse I think I, ne I need it for um creatures though because I got that one multicolored creature left I don't have I got one copy yeah that law shouldn't be there alright guys um, that'll be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed some Jace that was not um, that was not School of the Wizard. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the new mill card, but the other guy was playing the other um, new broken card in the uh, new set, which is the um, Gut Fire Devils. So 
Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.